Welcome back, everyone. I am Psycho Emerald, and happy Star Wars Day, May the 4th. Um, I've been having a lot of fun getting into, you know, the Star Wars spirit today, I guess, watching other YouTubers' Star Wars videos, and I thought I should make one for myself since most of my channel is focused on Star Wars figure collecting. Um, over here, I have a couple of my retro collection figures just so you kind of have something to look at while I'm just kind of talking and there's no actual figures on screen, but today I'm going to be ranking my top five Star Wars and Black Series action figures in my collection, and, uh, yeah, I'm a big Star Wars fan, as you guys know. I love collecting Star Wars figures, and uh, I grew up with these old vintage figures. Obviously, I'm not old enough to have been alive when they actually came out, but uh, when I was a kid, we had a case, like a collection of the old vintage figures uh, from the 70s that my uncle gave us, so I grew up with these figures, and so I got these for Christmas, these retro collection figures, and uh, I have the first wave of them, six, but I didn't do a review of them because I like to keep them carded since, you know, I already have the uh, old vintage figures, but I thought that would just be a nice little background on these retro collection figures since I didn't actually do a review of them, but you guys don't really want to hear me just talking, so what I'm going to be doing is ranking my top five favorite Star Wars of Black Series action figures. This is not a ranking of the characters themselves, this is a ranking of how much I personally like these figures. I don't have a massive collection of Star Wars Black Series, so I you know, won't have some of the uh, best figures in the line uh, that as some people might consider them, but I have quite a few figures that I really love, and I thought it would be fun to take my top five out of my collection, five I like the best, and rank them from five all the way up to number one. So let's get into this right now with number five. All right, number five is the Snow Trooper. This is the 40th anniversary Snow Trooper. Um, from the Empire Strikes Back 40th anniversary last year. So yeah, I got this figure out of Walmart at one point, and I just really love it. The articulation is a little bit limited due to all, you know, the, like, the suit that he's wearing and the armor and everything. But it's still a really awesome figure. I really love troopers. Actually, most of the figures on this list are troopers. But, uh, yeah. But this is just a really great figure. It's got good articulation for being uh, such a, you know, beefy armored figure like this one is. And I just really love it. I think it looks really awesome. It's easy to get into cool poses with its blaster and stuff. So I really, really love this Snow Trooper. And yeah, so that's why this one's my number five. And let's get on to number four. Number four is the Elite Squad Trooper. So um, this guy actually got recently. I have a review up for it on the channel. I will have the... A uh, playlist for all of my Star Wars action figure reviews up in the corner up there. But yeah, I did a review recently of this Elite Squad Trooper from Star Wars The Bad Batch, a show that actually just came out today, which I actually, as of recording this video, haven't had a chance to watch. I am recording this on May 4th. Usually I record my videos like uh, at least a few days before I upload them. But today, you know, I'm recording and uploading this today. So uh, yeah, but I haven't gotten a chance to watch the first episode of The Bad Batch yet. But I hope these guys are in it because I really can't wait to see these guys in action. But this figure, I've gotten it recently and it's just... I, this, I don't have either of the other clone troopers that use this mold. Um, I know these guys aren't actually clone troopers, but um, it uses the clone trooper mold that they've been using recently in the Black Series, and it's just really awesome. This is my first experience with that clone trooper mold, and the articulation is just amazing. You can get into so many good poses, like aiming poses like that. It's just got amazing articulation, and the clone trooper sculpt is just great. So yeah, that's why this is my number four Star Wars The Black Series figure. So let's get on to number three. Okay, number three is... Boba Fett. This is the 40th anniversary Boba Fett. They've re-released this figure so many times, but I got this for Christmas, and um, yeah, it was, I finally got a Boba Fett. Boba Fett is obviously awesome. He's got a great look in the original trilogy. I just, yeah, I really love this, and it was at the time that The Mandalorian was still, you know, releasing episodes, um, which I'm sure they will make a season three, but like it was while season two was still being released, so yeah, this is just a really awesome figure. The only reason it's not like number one on my list is because the articulation is quite limited you can't get him into like really awesome poses but he just you know he has a presence you know he has the Boba Fett presence he just looks awesome all the little weathering and detail on his armor and everything it, he's just so accurate to the movies and he came on the cool old uh, card back for the 40th anniversary Empire Strikes Back so yeah this is a really great figure. I love Boba Fett, and they really have knocked this figure out of the park. And they've earned the right to keep re-releasing this figure because it's still really great and a solid Boba Fett figure. So let's get on to number two. All right, my number two Star Wars Black Series figure is Commander Bly. I love this figure. I got it a long time ago. Um, well, not a super long time ago, but it's it's been a little while since I got this figure. And uh, yeah, it's really great. As you can see, he's got that 
cool pose where you can hold the blaster with two hands. It just looks really great, and I love how this visor can flip up and down. He's very accurate to Revenge of the Sith, which is one of my favorite Star Wars movies. Um, he came with, you know, these uh, blaster pistols that just fit seamlessly into his holsters. He's got this. The only complaint is they didn't really weather or detail the back of the figure. But um, other than that, all the paint looks awesome. He's got great articulation, especially in the elbows and everything. It's just, yeah, he's really great. Great detail, great clone trooper figure. Um, I don't really think they really needed the new mold. Everyone else is kind of saying, we really need a new clone trooper mold. And then we got it finally uh, with, you know, like that elite squad trooper I just said. And there's like the Ahsoka's clone trooper and the Kamino clone trooper. But I think this clone trooper mold's pretty solid. It's got good articulation. And this Commander Bly figure in particular has a great sculpt. Um, for his helmet, and he's got uh, great paint on everything, and yeah, I really love this Commander Bly figure, so it's my number two spot. All right, so we're gonna get on to the number one spot. Um, all these figures have been great, but we're gonna get on to my number one favorite Star Wars Black Series figure in my collection. Okay, my number one Star Wars the Black Series action figure in my collection, my personal favorite, is Han Solo from The Return of the Jedi. Um, he came with the uh, Endor coat as well. I just don't really like the look of the coat. I prefer to have him like this, just kind of a classic Han Solo look. The head sculpt looks good. It doesn't look exactly like Harrison Ford, but it doesn't really need to. It looks very close, and that's about as good as you're going to get. But um, I, I just love all the detail on his figure. His costume all looks great. Um, but my favorite part is just how, just how easy to pose this figure is. Like, you can... The elbows, even though I'm pretty sure, yeah, they're just a single joint, they still come up pretty far, so you can get them in kind of a blaster holding pose like that. The head, great articulation in the head, can tilt and all that. I just love all the articulation on this figure, all the detail, and Han Solo is one of my favorite characters. So, yeah, this is just, I don't know. This, in you guys' opinion, might not be as good as the other figures that I've shown on this list, but this is my personal favorite because I just have a lot of fun posing this figure and displaying him. And I just think he looks awesome. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this ranking video. So, Han Solo from Return of the Jedi is my number one Star Wars The Black Series figure. Alright, so that's going to pretty much end this ranking video. Um, I've had a lot of fun making this. I've had a pretty great May the 4th so far. I hope you guys have too. Uh, my birthday is actually tomorrow, so that'll hopefully mean I'll get plenty more toys and action figures that I'll be reviewing on the channel. Um, there are reviews for all five of these figures in my top five. There's reviews for pretty much every figure in my collection, with the exception of a few that I got before I actually really started collecting. So yeah, I've been doing this channel for like a year now. It started with me reviewing a Star Wars Black Series figure, um, and yeah, it's just a lot of fun to make these videos. It really makes my collecting more fun to have people to share it with who watch my videos so i really thank you guys uh, especially the ones who've been watching my star wars reviews uh those ones don't usually get as many views as some of my other videos that i've made on the channel but they're the ones i enjoy making the most so i'm pretty sure most of the people watching this uh video will be mostly star wars fans who watch my channel for star wars reviews so i'd just like to say thank you to all you guys who watch my star wars reviews and uh, yeah, if you haven't seen uh, a review for one of these figures, you can go check it out right up there. I've got a playlist um, with all of my Star Wars figure reviews. And uh, yeah, I've had a great time making this video. I have a great time making these reviews and all these videos that I make on my channel. If you enjoy Star Wars action figure reviews and this is your first time to my channel, uh, be sure to subscribe because I do lots of Star Wars action figure reviews. That's mostly what I do on my channel. And uh, yeah, if you like Star Wars figures and Star Wars collecting and stuff, and uh, I have a feeling you'll like a lot of the videos on my channel. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. May the 4th be with you, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.